Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up controller assignments in Logic Pro 9. What controller assignments do is they allow you to turn your MIDI keyboard that has mixed controls into a control surface. So what I have is uh, an 88 key MIDI controller in front of me, but I also, it also has nine faders and nine knobs as well as some punch buttons for mute and solo. So uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to open up my mix window. I have four tracks, two audio, uh, two software instruments. I have my master output uh, and my master fader over here. And I'm going to learn all of the volume controls and all of the pan controls with my MIDI controller. So I don't have to use my mouse anymore to move these. I can just move the, the corresponding fader or knob on my MIDI controller. I'll also show you how to set up uh, to toggle on and off mute and solo buttons. So we can do that as well. So the first thing we have to do is we have to open up our controller assignments window. And the way you can get to that is you press Command K. Uh, if you forget that, you can also go up to uh, the Logic Pro menu, uh, Preferences, uh, go down to Control Surfaces, and then Controller Assignments. But Command K is that is the uh, shortcut for that. Now you may already see some learned controls in here. If you want to start from scratch, uh, you're going to want to delete all of your zones. So I'm going to delete. Whoops, I'll delete that zone. And then if there's any additional ones in here, with this is highlighted as no zone, you can delete those as well. Now, what a zone is, it's simply just a way to organize your, uh, your controller assignments. So maybe I want one uh, uh, zone for faders and another zone for uh, knobs. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create two, uh, two zones. I'm going to call one faders. And then I'm going to make another one called knobs. There we go. So let's learn our faders first. So let's click on that zone. And what we have to do is we have to turn on learn mode down here in the bottom. By the way, there's an easy view for this and an expert view. We're going to use expert view because it gives us a few more controls over here that we can uh, mess around with. So click on faders, turn learn mode on. It'll be dark gray. And you'll notice that there'll be a blank uh, new control up here. It says no message received yet. So what Logic is waiting for us to do is it's waiting for us to click on one of these uh, faders and then move that corresponding fader on our MIDI controller. So I'm going to click on my first audio track here, and then I'm going to move that exact same fader on my MIDI controller. And as you can see, it says Assignment Learned. And the cool thing is you don't have to do these one by one. You can just click on the next one and immediately learn it. Let's go down the row. Let's do number three, number four my master output and then my master fader there we go now one of the key things you need to do uh, when you're all done with this is go back to your controller assignments window and turn learn mode off so you don't accidentally learn more of them next let's learn our knobs so I'll click on the knobs uh, zone turn learn mode on we move this out of the way click on my first uh, pan knob here I can learn that and the next one and so forth and so on and I turn learn mode off so now I can well that little help tag will stay there for a little bit it takes a little bit uh, to go away but I can move all four of my faders simultaneously with four different faders on my controller and then those two pan knobs uh, that I also learned so the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to uh, toggle on and off your solo and mute buttons and it really it just works the same way all you do is you um, uh, turn learn mode on click on the button that you want to learn and then hit the button the corresponding button on your MIDI controller and then I can just go back and turn the learn mode off and now I can just hit my button and it toggles on and off the mute button now uh, some MIDI controllers, you may have to go over here to your uh, your mute button that you learned and ch change the mode to toggle as opposed to, I think it was on rotate before. Mine seems to work just fine, uh, but if it doesn't, uh, try giving toggle a shot. It'll work. I have big punch buttons on my MIDI controller, but a lot of them just have those uh, those those kind of cheapo buttons. So I hope this video helped out a lot. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.